Tulsa, Oklahoma, a quiet city. But did you know that in the 1900s, the Greenwood District was one of the most prosperous black majority districts in the country? Also known as Black Wall Street, the Greenwood District helped start and complete some of the buildings you would see downtown today. The Public Service Company of Oklahoma, 6th in Cincinnati, used to be the Central High School. The Mid-Continental Building, 4th in Boston, the Atlas Building, also in 4th and Boston, the St. Clair Building in 4th and Maine, Old City Hall in 6th and Cincinnati, the First International Bank of Oklahoma, 3rd and Maine, and the famous Maya Hotel, 4th and Maine. But during Memorial Day in 1921, one of the most devastating events in history occurred, the Tulsa Race Riot. It all started simply because a young black man walked into an elevator inside Rainberg's clothing store. What actually happened remains a mystery since witnesses all have different interpretations of what actually happened. What most people say is that the black man sexually assaulted the white female operator. The incident led to an uproar for the white community which led to the arrest of the black man involved and was taken to court. Dozens of people gathered outside the courthouse, some asking for answers while others demanded that he be lynched. Hostility and bloodlust filled the air. In order to protect a fellow neighbor, black residents took up arms and formed a protective line between the crowd and the courthouse where the suspect was locked up. Being more worried about the line of armed men in front of the courthouse, the police department decided to confront them. There was a struggle between an officer and a civilian while trying to confiscate a rifle. A shot was misfired and the crowd completely lost it. The Tulsa race ride had officially started and for the next 18 hours, shots were interchanged between black and white residents. The battle took place at Standby Hill where the OSU Tower stands. According to witness reports, the battle led up to the destruction of the burning Amy Church, whose total value at the time was over $80,000. In fear of the riots getting out of control further, the police department decided to draft volunteer soldiers. In following, the police department decided to evacuate the black residents out of Greenwood District. Some of them went without question, while others decided to put up a fight, and as a result, the volunteer officers took advantage of the moment and started to loot and burn down hundreds of homes and businesses down to the ground. Sets of steps leading to nowhere is sold that remains of the houses that were burned down in the riot. By the time it was over, hundreds of homes were destroyed, several dozen people were dead or missing, and millions of dollars of damage were dealt. February, Black History Month, is a time we reflect on the achievements of African Americans, but it's also the time when we reflect on the suffering that people went through. Only then, by understanding their struggle, can we work together to make a better future.